Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to Airport CEO. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. I have as well, so I'm really pleased to be able to show it to you. And first thing is, look at this. This is really cool. Let's go. Begin a new adventure. I like this. Uh, I like this wonderful airport ticker effect. So we're going to go with new airport. Oh, where are... Oh, what should we go for? I'm going to close my eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Hairstyle. We'll do the same. One, two, three. Whoop. Okay, backwards. One, two... No, that's fine. Uh, yep. Blah. Brown eyes looked a little better. Uh, whatever. Mouth. Mouthy looks very mouth suit. Doesn't change yet. So there'll be a bunch of options. They'll all be... They'll all be coming in the future. This is, of course, an early access game, but they've done a lot with it. There's a lot to like. So I think we should get stuck in and uh, have a little go. Confirm airport location. Well, where should it be? Where should it be? It should be in my hometown, of course. Right. This. There. We, oh, okay. Okay, Google Maps. Control yourself. It should be Wellington. Welling, Wellington. There we go. It's Wellington. Wellington Airport. I'm going to run it. Wellington Airport. We're just Wellington. Okay. And it's going to be WLG, of course. And uh, what are we going to go for? Easy or extreme? We're going to start with easy because there's a lot to learn. There is a lot to learn and we need to crack on and uh, get stuck in and learn it. Okay, so this is how we start. A lot of instructions, um, a lot of information here. So I'm just going to close out of that for now. And we're going to press P to pause because there is a lot to figure out. Here is our dashboard. We're a tiny pirate. We're in charge of Wellington Airport. Lucky, lucky locals. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. The airport is currently closed on our little dashboard. Um, so what is it saying? We got email. So uh, welcome to my airport. Yes, we are familiar with that. There's tab and there's F1. Close that. Conveyor belt, franchises, construction. So these are the tutorials we can work through. I think we're going to do this one. Uh, and you head over to the manual section and begin your learning process here. Oh, here we go. New. First step is getting a contractor company to do the building. Uh, open the economy panel. Navigate to Contractors tab. So we are going to be working on a small um, accepted offered. We're going to be working on a small country airport for this one. So highway construction, um, 55 developers at $7.30 an hour. Yes, why not? Oh, already have a contract of this type. I think it just had a little freak out. Oh, there we go. Accepted. It did. Back to the tutorial. Where are you, tutorial? Okay, here we go. Open the economy, sign a contract, open the operations, construction. Uh, right, uh, so that's going to the uh, operations, uh, economy, contracts, open the operations panel. Construction, deploy all contractors. Oh, there we go. It's, it's easy peasy. No problem at all. So, deploy the construction crew. Construction requires materials will be delivered to a delivery site. Price of construction is ready, ready, rah. Construction, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so, uh, I think we've got to unpause things. Uh, just normal speed. So, I see this is our delivery and etc, etc sort of location. So, we'll let this stuff come in. Here are our construction crews. Nice. Look, there's just hundreds of the little guys just hovering around. Keep it up, chaps. Let's go back to the manual. Um, construct a terminal. Construction workers, right, 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 right. So structures. So here we go. This is the uh, foundations for a terminal. And I want to have a relatively small terminal here for our first part of the airport. I do also don't I need to give it some uh, space for some parking type activities so it needs a road and then parking so I'm going to chuck it all the way over about here because this will be the central construction spot so maybe we'll make it a um I sort of feel 10 by 20 will be more than enough uh sort of maybe in the other direction though maybe coming up from here uh, 10 by, let's go 10 by 20. Oh, I have to click again. Let me click game. Let me do the boink. 
There we go. I think they're going to crack on now. Right, right, right. Terminal foundations. Right, right, right. And I sort of will want some large doors. Uh, rotate them. And uh, let's just say uh, we'll put some there for now. And uh, maybe we'll put like three or four large doors. Really encourage them to come along. So materials are coming in. I can see that much. Uh, let's just get rid of that little thing for now. So materials are coming through and they are building as fast as they can. No sounds yet for builds because, I don't know, we're early access, of course. Okay, so that seems pretty sound. We'll just let them crack on at fast speed. What's the tutorial telling us now? Connect it to public transport. Open the infrastructure bus stop. Um, yes, uh, bus stop. So... We do want that to be about, are we gonna, okay, we need to come all the way around and then go back. That's okay by me. So we're, we're gonna, gonna leave them a little bit of pavement to deal with uh, there. So we want a couple of bus stops and a couple of offload sites for uh, normal stuff. And I sort of think uh, car drop-offs should take place around here as well. But actually what I want to do first is lay down some road because we don't have any yet. Okay, like th oh, well, one more out I think makes sense. Like that. Um, these need to come all the way up here, around here. Yeah. So that way, stuff can just come all the way in. We do want... Uh, where were we? Car drop-off to take place. I suspect all the way... Yeah, that seems okay to me. Cars... Actually, what was that? Offload site. No, I actually don't want that at all. So... Oh, you troll. Let's just... Uh, cl <laughs> Let's just close that. Bulldozer that and that and uh, that and that and we'll put sort of car offload spots all the way along here okay brilliant they did that so infrastructure we got the bus stop we don't need the offload we've got car drop-offs to worry about we'll just put those all the way along there all right that, look, that looks pretty good to me cool so i do also want some sidewalk and there's going to be quite a lot of it that's okay not quite that much, and that much will do, because people need to walk on sidewalks, as it turns out. Parking. All right, there's going to be plenty of bus stop space there. Resources are coming in, and uh, where is another loading site? That actually might not be a bad idea. We do seem to have a bit of trouble keeping enough supplies up. Thought this guy's waiting. Ah, this is brilliant. Wow, airport is coming together very well. Okay, we've got zoning restrictions to do next. Okay, yes, yeah, so look, uh, walking restrictions, we've done it. Already figured that one out ourselves. Zoning restrictions, so things can be divided into zones. Uh, boarding desks, uh, places, secure area. So I sort of think that we want to keep... I'm sort of tempted by this half of the airport as... Um, as secure so from these doors down so where's a wall if we're going to do it on this uh, sort of line here then I sort of want something like I'm just going to put that there for now I want this zone to be the secure zone and this zone to be the other zone oh sorry non-secure this will be the airport side or the timing side or whatever they call it. And yeah, that was secure. Okay, good. So zoned for staff. Uh, areas can be zoned for employees only. I don't think I need any of those. Prepare the perimeter for separation. Uh, okay, well, we've got to get these walls in. And actually what I want is items. I really want the security checkpoint to go here so that should divide things up nicely i think okay so what does it reckon uh airport oh, it's still in progress staff tool 
I don't really think I need to worry about that. I don't think I do. So it's only to prepare for perimeter separation. Okay, Z key to display zones. All right, well, let's have a look. Staff, uh, nothing to do. Secure, we've done. Uh, no, I think, well, I don't know. No, let's just do that and see what it says. Okay, so it did actually come up with uh, being pleased with that. So now we've got a security checkpoint. I can build a queue um, that... Well, really? Is it going to go through that wall? Ah, oh, that seems a bit weird. Okay, let's just take down that wall then. Just that wall. Uh, so let's let's get back to here. Build a queue. Um, we'll just zigzag back and forth through security here um, that seems fine so yes people will enter security there uh, will I put on a bit more wall that seems like a good idea at least uh, that much okay let them crack on and uh, do that for us so what does it reckon it's really happy with that in general a security check-in desks we do need check-in desks so let's put those in as well um, I need to see the zone because I'm going to put the check-in desk um, this way. So we want like this, I think. I'm going to put four in and I will put a little bit more staff zone here. Um, there we go. I think that works like that. Staff up to the check-in desk. That should be fine. I hope so. So they're going to build that and then we're going to be able to portion off things a little bit so people come and check in. Their baggage will get dumped. We'll worry about that in due course. We're going to need some jet fuel. So we're going to have to sort out some av gas. We need to go to contracts. And what are we going to have to do? Uh, let me have a look here. Okay, so contracts. So offered contracts. A procurement director is required, so we need to get a procurement director. So staff, the board, procurement director, let's have a look at applicants. Uh, we don't want any of those. Security janitor, no, 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 we don't need them right now. Procurement director, which one? Is it going to be Magda? Not so good on the stats. Helen, uh, not too bad. Veronica um actually not too bad I think this one should be fine she's a bit more expensive uh, I don't know they're not well maybe Helen will do the trick not too expensive not brilliant but we will suffice with her almost looks like a direct clone of us so offered procurement this is what we want to do so I do want I want some fuel. Oh, I have gas. So jet fuel for commercial aircraft or uh, this one for the for the littler aircraft. We do need an aircraft stand before we can buy that. So I'm sort of thinking the airport is going to have aircraft stands around here for now for a little country airport. So for this, we will need aircraft stands, which are in here somewhere. Small stand is here. So I'm thinking, got one here and uh, one here. Cool. Now let's crack on, get that built. And uh, once that's built, we should be able to pick up a service for, or well, servicing of the average gas, which would be very helpful. So now we've got the aircraft stand, we can unlock this cheap fuel. Very good. Now what does your toil want us to do? Why are you complaining strange thing is not operated well that's okay we know it doesn't have any people working on it yet so we have that uh, fuel services contract variation fuel supply fuel depot must be constructed aircraft refueling service must be toggled on in the operations panel so okay there's lots to build here we need to oh a bus shelter Oh, that actually doesn't seem like such a bad idea, does it? So that's where the bus stop comes in. 
So let's get a couple of those going, maybe. Um, just like that. I don't know, that seems all right. Yeah, throw them in. And we do want the Avgas. Where are you? Right, with the contract complete, we can actually get our fuel depot in. Which I am inclined to put all the way... I want it off. I do want it away from the main road into the airport. And it seems like round the back here would make the most sense because we probably want to expand over that way. So I'm going to put it down over here. Um, maybe like that. And we will possibly want... Do we want a fuel tank attached to it? I don't know. Why not? We'll stick that in there. Everything here needs to be behind a service road. So we've got a little checkpoint here, which is where vehicles come in and then they're checked into the uh, into the uh, air side of the airport. So that's good. And that means that we've got also a vehicle depot here. We've got the fuel depot is just about ready to go. The road is ready. And that means I can also, under procurement, pick up a services truck, which will be very helpful and I think will help fill up the fuel everything in here is looking okay i do need to sort out these queues so we will do that now um, build queue so we're going to go right first and uh left uh, i think that will do so we better build queues for uh everyone like how far down do we go down to the middle i think that's about right and yeah once we've worked that i think we'll be quite far along which is brilliant because we do want to get this airport open we're currently hemorrhaging money and that is no good for anyone so okay cool so that's done that is done. We've got happy avgas, but no actual avgas in it yet. That seems to be okay. They seem happy with the uh, fuel services thing of me working there. Operations tells me we haven't got anyone working there. Vehicles, incidents, none. Ramp agent services disabled. Um, I don't know. Fueling service not upgraded. I don't know. We've got upgraded. That's fine. Uh, I, I, I'll just leave that alone for now. Next part of the tutorial. So we're down to, oh, I think we're down to part two, aircraft and airlines. Okay, so aircraft stands. We happily seem to have one of those already. Can we actually tarmac those over? I'd be kind of interested if we could, because that would be, um, I think that would look a little better. Oh, it seems like we can. Good, we're upgrading them. Small, small aircraft, that's us, for general aviation and commercial flights, grass, concrete, or asphalt. Uh, medium aircraft, commercial flights. Okay, so, whoo, airside construction. To support aircraft operations, you need to construct a runway and air traffic control tower. Okay, that's fine. We know how to do that. That is a small runway. Um, this doesn't seem too bad. If I put it here we will have room for upgrading and we need air traffic control air traffic control we could put it here slightly on the air side i actually want to put it down here yes i think that will be fantastic where it is there next we have the foundations for the taxiway so it seems sensible to have at least two two wide uh, is that going to be plenty enough for it to figure things out? I think it should be fine. Planes could be a little wider, so let's have it, I don't know, three wide. Okay, so, tarmac is going in here, air traffic control will go in there, and uh, I think we just need to wait now. What it says, though, is we do have to worry about taxiway nodes, so... That seems to make sense, like that? Uh, do these connect this way? I think that works fine. Oh, here we go. And I think that is good. I think that is good, actually. 
All right, good. So now we just need to wait for this to be built. So that takes the planes on and off that area, which is brilliant. And uh, once this is built, we should be able to just start looking at getting our airport up and running. Okay, it looks like our little country airport is laid out. So wants uh, a few more things. So let's figure out what it wants now. Right, it wants us to place holding points. So we do want to um, have holding points that are halfway down the runway, I guess. Uh, holding point, holding point. So they don't look very pretty right now, but I'm assuming that's good enough. So we've got air, ho aircraft holding points in, and now we can ensure that our aircraft know where to come and where to stop when they're waiting for the runway to clear. So... Okay, so I think that's pretty good. What is the next thing we need to do? Franchise. We need a strategy director, as it turns out. So let us head here for the strategy director. So 80, 70, 64. Actually, you look Stefan Schneider from Bronckdom University in Dusseldorf. You're looking pretty good at 69 an hour. I also like the sound of that price. Oh, you're excellent though, Lindsay. From Armenia. Pleasantness, lo logic, stress, uh, Stefan. Stefan actually handles it a little better, so we're going for Stefan. Now what we want to do under the economy thing is contracts for... Where are we? It told us just before. So, I go to the economy panel, panel procurements, and procurement and look for some food franchises oh yeah food franchises sounds like a great idea could we have any other kind of entertainment a shop upgrade retail companies that sounds good as well a baggage handling service we are going to need that so i imagine so we might as well just go over to staff right now uh, staff, board, um, a chief operating officer, and 68. Oh, you don't seem too bad compared to 94. Not that much different. Sam, technical and handy, handle stress. I think we'll go with you, pal. I think you're going to be brilliant. Chief information officer, financial officer, and HR director. We are almost certainly going to need to have an HR director once we want to hire staff. HR directors. Pavel. Logic not so great. Pleasantness very nice. Whoa, technical very low. Oh, technical very low. Yeah, technical would seem... Um, logic does seem important. You will go for you, Pavel. There you go. So, that'll do for now. What are we on for the contracts? In progress, so... and. Purchase an upgrade for a franchise. Procure the upgrade for a franchise, either shop or f food. Okay. Food and products are now upgraded. So it looks like we need to build them. Build franchise rooms. Dragging a shop or a food room somewhere in the terminal. Secure area. Want to make the most profit. I think, you know what? We're going to figure this out in the next episode because it's getting very, very long episode and this is taking quite a while. I think we've come quite far and our little airport is almost ready to open, but I think we're going to open it in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see more? As I get more familiar with it, I expect things are going to get more involved and more detailed and more fun. And uh, I think it'll be fun to see how that goes. Anyway, I've been Tiny Pirate. Do subscribe if you like this kind of stuff, because I love playing interesting indie games, and I'd like to have you along. Until next time, good night. <laughs>